Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video about how to redraw this card. And while the other video was loading, I thought, you know what, this might just trace. Now it is lopsided, but I don't know if that's uh, on purpose. So what we're gonna do, go to bitmap, resample. I've already set it to 300. I'm not gonna change the size, which is quite a bit larger than I like. Trace, outline trace, clip art. And we could play around with the details, but I see a line through the middle of it right now. So I'm gonna nudge it over. And there's our new trace. But let's look at it because of that line. Let's look at a view wireframe. And they have a line in there that we need to get rid of because it's going to alter the whole thing. And if we go to object and group and ungroup it all, we might be able to grab that, just that line and hit delete. And we did. And it's good. I'm going to get rid of the thank you because you'd never want to use that. Now I'm going to look at it. I'm looking at it in wireframe right now. I'm going to take it back to enhanced. And since it's broken apart, I'm going to just try this. I'm going to grab that color and I'm going to nudge the colors out of the way. And it's going to be a pretty cool printed card you know, we got a little bit of an outline there, but uh, you really just want the solid color. But if you if the outline goes with it, uh, you can take it and use both. That. And all I'm doing is just nudging it over. And if you look just in a second, it's pretty rough, but because we are uh, doing this, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm not going to use that bottom line because it's really rough and there's not much left. Now, I don't know if the card is supposed to be cat. I missed a color. Um, put that, nudge that over. I don't know if the card is supposed to be catawampus, but let's control G and group it together. And let's try this. I don't know if this will even work. Get the envelope tool. And you know, I don't think it's going to work. I was thinking I could change it with the envelope tool. Let's uh, let's get rid of these nodes in the middle and just use the uh, square nodes. No, we're not going to be able to change it. Uh, there might be a way to change it. I can't really think right now. Uh, what we could do to change it. It's really only catawampus on the outside. We're going to rotate it just a hair. And let's try this. Let's try a rectangle. Okay, let's make sure it's grouped together, and it is. Let's try this to straighten it up. Let's just take a rectangle, and let's just trim off some of the part that's a little bit catawampus. Crooked. You could actually take the shape tool. Well, let's just go ahead and use the pick tool and just bring this in a little bit. Bring this in a little bit. Now, take this and go up to intersect. Wow, that didn't work. Yeah, it did. It just kind of moved it. Now, so I, I've got it now it's still a little crooked this way, but we could fix that. And I would like to change out that sun to a different color. So we could take that sun and make it yellow. And then hold down the control button and make a little red in it. I think it looks a lot better. But here's going to be kind of the, the kick to the whole thing. Get that rectangle a little closer to the, the right side and take black, smart fill. You know, that doesn't look like the original. I don't know what does. Now, I've got some white spots, like right there, but I think we could fix those just by taking 
Let's ungroup it, take the pick tool, go up to object, order, must not have grouped it. Now we got in some different colored yellows that we could probably address when I move that stuff. Break the curve apart. There we go. We got rid of the white. Now these other little spots. Um, let's move that out of the way. And this would be an easy fix. Take the smart fill tool, get the eyedropper, pick that color, and then fill that in. Do that all the way around the ones that messed up. It's a little, the lines are rough, but it might be, it might be pretty cool to print like that. You know, there's some really rough lines. And the same thing here, delete that color, get the smart fill tool, eyedropper, that color, and fill that in. Now, on the roughness, you could fix that. You'd have to go back in and smart fill it, but you could fix the roughness of the lines or some of the worst ones. You know, like right there, we've got a spot, smart fill, eyedropper, get a test, put it there. I think we need to do it again on the bottom. Eyedropper, sample, that might be a little quicker than, than uh, doing it, just clean up the lines. Anyway, kind of a fun project. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.